back in the past growing up um not even growing up back in like you know the 90s and everything everyone thought that your measure of success was rated by IQ which is intelligent quotient wait wait, wait. what does IQ stand for in- intelligence quotient get the f- quotient what the fuck is a quotient it's like just like a rating nah so i never knew that IQ. wow you really learn something new every day iq stands for intelligent um, quotient intelligence quotient okay bad intelligence quotient so yeah um and what we found out is that that that's not necessarily a mark for success um your your iq is basically is basically um you know how smart you are quote unquote right. and they say once you read an adult that it's like fixed yeah. um you can do some stuff to change to change it a little bit but it's basically fixed um and then uh recently um uh, we found out that a better measure of success success is eq emotional quotient mm. um there's a wonderful book called emotional intelligence 2.0 how do you even measure emotional quotient bro it's a whole system. Because the IQ is literally a test. You take it, you write some shit down, it, throw you some mad problems, it's, it's, some it's, logical it's, it's, questions. It's, it's the same thing. Um, they'll have like, the uh, oh, I'm going to dive right into the book. It, it literally gives you, at the, end of, at the end of the book, it literally gives you like a quiz to go on. You can type in a code online. Oh, wow. And they have different questions. Like this, they'll give you this scenario and different ranges. How would you react to this? Who is giving you these books, bro? I got to figure bro, out who is your uh, plug, bro. Uh, listen, nah, Where do you get this, this shit is, from? This is, this is an, an excellent book, and I definitely recommend. It's that called everyone, the Emotional Intelligence? Emotion, emotional Intelligence 2.0. Oh, uh, okay. And what it does is... It explains that in this book, um, we are emotional creatures by nature. Okay. And Facts. a lot of the, of the decisions that we make, our purchases, we, we, we make impulse buys. We make buys. We, we buy stuff based on how things are going to make us feel. Yeah, Not exactly. necessarily the most intelligent purchase. It's about how it makes us feel at the end of the day. Yeah, 100%. We are an emotional creatures. And that's by design. So let's let's break down the brain a little bit. Okay. So the part of the brain that works on uh, emotion is in the middle part of the brain. Okay. And the part of the brain that works on logic is in the front of the brain. Okay. So an electrical impulse has to pass through the emotional part of the brain before it even reaches the logical part. Has- so so every reaction, everything, our, our first reaction is always emotional because electrical impulses have to pass through emotional before it gets to logical. Oh, so the brain, the emo- the electric pulses that go into the brain, they start off, they stem from the middle. Yes, and then they stem from out. the middle, so it has oh, to it has to go yeah, through the, the emotional so part of the brain before logical. That's why most of the decisions that we make are emotional ones. Not, uh, and it's not, it's most of the time yeah, never yeah. our be- the best decisions. Yeah, and, and simply put, we always do react emotionally. We all, every, our first reaction is yeah. always like, emotional. Right, right. That's why I say like when you angry, you re- you respond to something really upset and it makes you feel don't. Like responding your head, reacting your head before you react out loud, because you're gonna do some wild shit. Right? And and I was gonna touch upon that. Um, you know, a lot of people might be watching this. A lot of men think, oh, you know, women are the emotional ones. That's mm-hmm. that's bullshit. You know. Oh yeah, think I always it. said that. No, no, I always said that. Women, <laughs> yeah. women can know how to control their emotions a lot more, but at the same time, a woman who doesn't know how to control her emotions is a fucking killer. Yeah, like, is a sight. Like <laughs> they say, like the worst thing. You, like uh, I think they say, like the worst. What's this? It's a scorn woman quote. I forgot what it is, but it's like there's no. Uh, Hell has no bigger, like darker wrath than a scorned woman. Basically, man, you fuck her over, she's gonna try to kill you for it, life. Nah, she's gonna fuck it, you over it, for life. It's, re- it's, it's really different. Um, yeah. Guys, and think I've, that... I've, I've experienced that firsthand. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, you, you. Sorry for another day. Yeah, right yo, now. sorry for another day. We never gonna get into that in this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah. So back to what you were saying. They say that, um, that women are more emotional, but it's absolutely not true. No, ab- absolutely. Emotional. You gotta realize you t- you you sitting here telling your girlfriend that she's emotional, not realizing you already broke three controllers, punch holes in your walls because playing 2k because you're my player missed the wide open three you yeah, feel me yeah that's true that's or, very true or, 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 very or, true. You, or you get are you getting smoked in, in call of duty yeah you know right. you don't shatter the remote man man really forget that that anger is an emotion you know mm, anger is an yeah, emotion yeah. They, they think women are the actual emotional ones but yeah. they think they forget that because they, the yeah, emotion.